tonight, we know the name of the man police say caused a dangerous situation when he jumped out a second floor window at an East Providence motel. This is the same motel that the mayor says he was fed up with because of all the times police have been called there. 12 News reporter Jake Holter tells us about new footage and information we got from police this afternoon. Jake. Well, Shannon and Mike, the man you see making a run for it out a window is 36 year old Carlos Cintron of Providence. We just obtained this body cam footage from East Providence police at the scene of what has proven to be a popular spot for crime in the city. Oh my God. That's 36 year old Carlos Cintron making a run for it out the window and onto a secondary roof at the Rumford Motor Inn. East Providence police open up. Police believe he was under the influence of drugs and found evidence of illegal narcotic activity in his room. Come over, come over here, come over here. He is being charged with possession of Schedule 4 drugs, crack cocaine, and Xanax, as well as resisting arrest, disorderly conduct, and obstruction. This all happening around 7.30 Tuesday night. Not more than two hours earlier, the East Providence City Council was scheduled to have a hearing and potentially vote on the status of the Rumford Motor Inn's license after the business has seen many incidents in the past. That coming to a screeching halt when the motel's attorneys filed a temporary restraining order in court, barring the counselors from doing anything for fear of litigation. For tonight, uh, this board has essentially been stopped from taking any action in the licensing authority as a result of the restraining order filed in, in the court. We're seeking a ruling from the court that would basically tell the city you cannot while this case is pending, you cannot punish, um, discipline, revoke, and or otherwise regulate this hotel. The city council filed a counter temporary restraining order seeking emergency relief. Meanwhile, the mayor's office is working with the owner of the Rumford Motor Inn to provide zoning assistance while he tries to sell or lease the property. We are committed to assisting them achieve their end goal of transitioning this from a motel use to some other use. Uh and Bransky says the owner has received multiple offers from local and regional real estate developers for the property. As for Cintron, he was brought into police custody and taken to Rhode Island Hospital for treatment. Reporting live in studio, Jake Holter, 12 News.